Norman Radio presents Your School at Home Partner Region 10 Alternative Delivery on Basic Education Be More Bringing Excellence by Maximizing and Optimizing Resources in Education The Vision of Misamis Oriental Welcome to another episode of Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. Good morning, Mindanao, and good morning, Philippines. Good morning, Senior High. Welcome to the wonderful world of School on the Air, where you learn as you listen on air. I am excited to share something new today. I am teacher Lara May Gonzalez from Tagoan Central School, the vision of Misamis Oriental, the pride of Region 10. Welcome to another episode of Learning and Relearning Things. The objective for today's lesson is Identify the Forms of Art. How are you today? Well, sit back and relax. Inhale, exhale. I need you to relax because when we are relaxed, we are comfortable. And when we are comfortable, we can learn and think well. Are you ready? Yesterday, we talked about arts and its visual elements. Now, let's try to test if you can still remember them. I want you to answer these questions. Write true if the statement is correct. And false if it is a wrong statement. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1 a line refers to an elongation of a point or a mark on a surface. Number two, color refers to visual perception that allows a person to differentiate objects due to the way various wavelengths of light are reflected. Number three, Texture refers to area with boundaries identified or drawing lines. It's time to check your answer. And here are the correct answers. Number one, the answer is true. Number two is also true. Number three, the answer is false. So, how did you do? If you got more than one correct answers, you have remembered the past lesson. If you got zero, then you have to listen very well to learn more and review. Now, you are ready to move on. Did you know that one of the most vital skills one must possess in life is the visual skill? To understand things around us, it is also important to comprehend, first, the visual elements of art in order to describe painting or a sculpture. These visual elements of art are the line, color, shape, space, value, texture, time, and motion. Let us have a short break before we proceed to our new lesson. Today, we will discover a new lesson together. For sure, all of us here are interested to learn, aren't we? Now, try to look around you. If you can see colorful masterpiece in a frame, 
Or if you cannot find it at home, imagine your schools. Is it colorful? Yes, of course. It is what we call painting. Hmm, what is painting? It refers to the process of applying color on a flat surface. Forms can be created using a wide variety of materials such as watercolor, acrylic, ink, oil, pastel, and charcoal. Surface for painting is considered two-dimensional, meaning it only has height and width. Did you know that painting has its forms? What are these forms? The first one is easel painting. The easel painting is perhaps the most common form of painting, which involves applying color to a board of canvas that is fixed on an upright support called an easel. These are meant to be framed and hanged on a wall after creating them. Next will be the murals. A mural is described as a huge wall-sized painting used to impart messages to the public. A new form of mural, which is a portable mural, was developed in order to prevent a mural from the wall, which was created by using bold strokes in applying bright colors on pieces of cheesecloth or canvas. Talon painting is the form of painting. It describes as a backdrop or background for the stage, which are used to Comedia, Sarsuela, and Sinacolo, the popular forms of theater in the country. Then, Chipney and Kalisa painting. For sure, every one of us have familiarized this. It is typically painted using one color. The borders of the kalesa are decorated with geometric patterns, repetitive patterns, and or thin lines. Jeepney painting evolved from the kalesa painting. In a typical jeepney, a logo, number, or painting is covered near the driver's seat, as well as near the seats adjacent to it. Finally, collage is a form of painting. This refers to a form of painting that evolves combined images in a single artwork. This entails cutting and pasting materials such as paper, fabric, tin foil, and other relatively flat materials onto a board or canvas. Let us now proceed to the themes of painting. Genre painting. Genre painting portrays people in daily activities. During the contemporary period, genre painting took several directions. One of these new approaches is folk genre, which mainly focuses on the everyday activities of the folk. Another approach is using the style of cubism in depicting folk or urban subjects. On the other hand, folk naive is another style wherein it uses a lot of color and spontaneity. Historical painting. The historical painting of the space inside of a part of a house or a building. Thus, usually reveals the social class of the family living in that particular house, as well as the traits of the people living in it. Landscapes. These paintings portrays natural scenery or urban scenes. Mixed media is now used in creating landscape paintings. Closely related to landscapes are seascapes 
which focus on large bodies of water, particularly the ocean or the sea. Portraits. This refers to a painting portraying one or more specific individuals. This usually portrays the physical characteristics of the subject and seeks to show an understanding of that person's character. Nudes. These are paintings that portray the uncloth human figure. Nowadays, a wide variety of materials and styles can be used in painting nudes. Nude painting sessions are conducted in galleries. Religious painting. Common subjects of religious painting includes a lone religious image, life of the saints, and scenes based from the scriptures like the nativity scene and the station of the cross. The last but not the least is the still life. This refers to painting that depicts natural or man-made objects that form a composition in a natural setting. A lot of styles can be used by artists in painting, ranging from Baroque and Rococo to Impressionism, Expressionism, and Abstract. Non-realism involves creating representational figures that also look abstract. Hyperrealism or magic realism. The subject is painted in a highly realistic way that it resembles a photograph, and social realism entails creating paintings that depict socio economic and political problems. Let's have a recap. The forms of painting are easel painting. Murals, Telon, Gypney and Kaliza painting, Collage. The themes of painting are genre painting, historical painting, interiors, landscapes, portraits, nudes, religious painting, and still life. And that's for today. Thank you for tuning in and I would like to leave you something to work on so that you won't forget what you learned today. Are you ready? Get your notebook and pen. Create a form of painting that you like most and portray the COVID-19 pandemic. This has been the second episode of our Contemporary Arts class. Time runs fast. I will see you again in the next episode. If you have questions, you can email us. You can also send in requests and greetings for your friends and families. Just email to soa at diped.gov.ph. We will play your request and send greetings on air. This has been your radio teacher, Lara Mae Gonzalez of the School on the Air for Contemporary Arts. We will learn more in our next episode. Remember to aim high now that you are in senior high. See you then!